Abacha told at least three people that Jeradua, MK, or myself would not come out of pre prison alive. Obasanjo, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Former President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo declared that it is by the grace of God that he is still alive today. The former president made this declaration during the World Sambadajo Foundation, WBF, 15th annual lecture held recently, noted that Nigeria's former head of state, General Abacha, had told at least three persons, one of whom told him that Shehu Yerudwa, MKU Abiola, and himself will not come out of prison alive. In his words, if not for God, I would not be here with you today. Because Abacha told that these three people who told me, one of them, Arisha Kola, the three of us would not come out of prison alive. Shehu Yerudwa, MKU Abiola, and myself. Obasanjo, who noticeably expressed gratitude to God for his life, despite the threat, noted that the other two never made it out of prison alive. In his words, he is not better than Abiola or Yeradua, who did who couldn't survive. What do you think about those comments? I want to believe that um uh what's it called? Oh uh, I want to believe that uh Baba himself uh, uh what's it called? And that's OBJ now. I want to believe that yes, truly, truly, now God may keep on my life. I want to believe that um, the other two that died, you know, they better. Tuloto is not better than them. I want to believe there was an occasion. Exactly. That was what I was trying to say. There was an occasion that brought about this memory. He, don't, he didn't just say it. Maybe he said he remembered it at maybe at um, maybe an occasion where he was called to where he made the statement. Well, we thank God for, for his life now. He did not only survive, but he survived and became the president of... Uh, he became the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And of course, he even finished. And he is now, um, he's now, should I say, retired? Okay. God used Prophet T. Videsha to have kept you alive today. Prophet met Abacha personally in Aso Rock. To fast forward your release through prayer. Even the letter you wrote to T.B. Joshua after your release from the session was shown to us. For a minor TV, you thanked as a brother. So learn to forgive your enemies, please. Do not keep offense, my president, my ex-president. Okay. Baba, truth is life, sir. All power belongs to God. Thank you for the information. Well, um, let me even say, let me even say this. So. Yes, a lot of people are going to come out now and say a whole lot of things about OBJ now. While OBJ is not a saint, I will also say that he's actually... It, no woman being self is a saint. There is none who does not have anything in his cupboard. I'm doing somewhere with this, so please, nobody should come for me. Yes, people come out and I said, yes, OBJ is part, part of a suffering. We are suffering today. Yes, but can you turn back the hands of time? Now, if you're actually in, if you go for, maybe you have this trauma, somebody did something to you. And of course, um, uh, what's it called? How am I going to put it now? That person maybe did something to you that leaves you traumatic. And maybe you now even have to go for a, thera a therapy session or sessions that you, you know, you have to come out of that particular trauma. Do you know that part of the thing that they're going to be telling you is that you have to see, come to reality. You're no longer that person. You're no longer being held. Maybe you were, uh, God forbid, oh, let me use the scenario. Somebody was kidnapped, you know, and the person was um, traumatized. Maybe they beat the person. Maybe they, they made the person do horrible things, you know, and maybe... Even years after that incident has gone by, you're still traumatized by that incident. So, the therapy session we feel that them are showing you to, you know, you have to come to reality. You have to let yourself, set yourself free from that prison. I'm going somewhere with this, you know, and tell yourself that you're no longer that kind of person. You're no longer being held in chains. You're free. See, you're free. Look at yourself. You're free. You're living your life. Yes, you have to walk out. The door has already been opened for you. You just have to walk out. So, what I'm trying to say is, Nigerians, I know that we are going to come out and say OBJ, you know, do well. Some people, in do well. Some people, you know, do well. You know, it's not everybody that will totally agree. Yes, part of the world's we experienced as a nation, he was actually, some of them, he cannot exonerate him from him. He's part of it. But the thing we say, you know why I see they talk about this man in this calm manner? This man have come out to suggest some things. Yes, people say, when you were there, what did you do? But now he's no longer there. 
he's no longer there. Meaning, say, at least they always come and say they give him two cents, you know, for talk, for, for waiting good day better for this country. But no wahalasha. Anyway, we thank uh, God for keeping him alive. All right. Even man, <laughs> even man, you're coming out of prison alive was the most unfortunate thing that happens to Nigeria. And you becoming a Nigerian president was evil. I perpetrate evil and destroy Nigeria and put it in mess. <laughs> I don't understand what this person they try to say. But uh, like I said, holding on to what OBJ's woes will not make Nigeria any better. Because had it been we are, we are going to be able to turn back the hands of time, I tell you, we will turn back the hands of time. And OBJ will not be Nigerian president. In fact, I saw this cartoon flip where somebody turned back the hands of time. I don't know how the person used Duam. Can't go back to Vien, then born Lord Lugat. <laughs> People colonize uh, this uh, Nigeria. And if it's, you know, it was a very funny video. But unfortunately, all those things are not real. We cannot turn the back of hands of time. If we can turn the hands of time, we are going to be have turned it back to even uh, 2015 when we wanted to vote in this present administration. And we are going to tell ourselves that no, we should not. You understand? But we cannot. All these things, they don't, you don't go, we say you don't go. You don't go. That is the problem. The time we will waste, you know, with the wrong person. You don't go. You don't be the same way that Baru. You go remain say either you don't the fact we said in the barrack. So what thing would they look forward to now? Now way forward. Make us up to the hold on. That is why I'm saying holding on to the sake of a previous government. If you are a present government, it does not help you at all. It does not. Uh -huh. Or always giving the previous government to give excuse does not help you because I will keep saying it at the end of the day. If those people don't make a mistake, you're not going to be there. You came out and people saw you as somebody who will come and rise the wrongs. Me, that meaning, say, it had been there was no mistake. I don't think we are going to uh, be where we are today. Yes. Just be like they say, if person is sick, there will be no doctor. Or there will be no hospital. Yes, now, because it will bring about she been a sickness. Good. Now, so a USB. So, people of Nigeria, um, I speak like this opportunity to tell you now, say, for people who don't collect their PVC, make them keep them well, make them whole and well. And on that the election day, make them use them, vote, vent their, you know, vent whatever they want vent. You go there, quietly vote for person who won't vote, and you, you come out. And at, you know, and uh, uh, if you never get your PVC, I don't know if you are still registering. Somebody should help me. If you are still registering, please try and get your PVC. That is the only way we can make Nigeria better. Referendum, they will not give us. Uh, restructuring they will not give us we have to take nigeria back by ourselves this time around all right on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for tuning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day